Well, it's one of the best proms of the year, and it's not specific to any high school. It's for young people who've been missing out on things because of their illnesses. And this is the first time since COVID began that Children's Hospital has been able to hold this event. Tori Mason is at the Denver Zoo where the prom was held, and Tori, what a special night tonight. Absolutely, Karen. And you know, millions of teens around the country missed their proms the last couple of years because of COVID. But the teens that were here tonight, prom is just one of the many life events they'll miss because of illness. It just feels really good to like look good and feel good. It's not just glamour that has Kaylee Barnett feeling better. A pheochromocytoma had the teen in and out of the hospital. I'm where I was there for like a straight month. I got to go home for like three days for Christmas and then I had to go straight back. Now she's headed straight for the dance floor. It's a special night for teens with life threatening conditions. Being in the hospital can be scary and anxiety provoking. Sarah Scott does child life programming for Children's Hospital Colorado. A prom for one evening where their medical condition doesn't take the front seat to what they're experiencing means a whole lot. Many are immunocompromised and couldn't attend their own proms. For teens like Kaylee, getting sick is a life or death risk. If I would have gotten COVID, that would have delayed a surgery that I needed. That would have been like life saving. While life appears to be back to normal, cases are on the rise. For many of our neighbors, the threat is still here. Like I have a mask in my bag for tonight just in case. It's the type of empathy this teen hopes adults remember too. People should realize the importance of like, not everything is about yourself. There's other people in the world too. And the hospital says events like this are also great for their mental health too, whether it's just getting all dressed up and feeling good or being around other teens who can understand what you've been through. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first. So glad you did this story, Tori. They certainly deserve tonight for sure. Thank you.